Well, that's different, huh? I ain't never quite seen bulbs like that before. Interesting. I swear somebody... Like, why would you paint this inside if it's in really good condition? I don't understand people sometimes. I don't know. Well, let's see. Hold on. Let's try this. Mud dauber nest, that's nice. Very good I did that in there. Yeah, it's shiny. Like what in the There's a little bit of rust here and there, but it's not It's not bad. I don't understand it guys, but it's what I gotta deal with. This white's been on here for a while. I don't know if you guys can see, because it's... See the white's here, and there's yellow on top of it, and then red on top of that. See if you scrape the red away, there's yellow under it. And if you scrape a little bit of the yellow away, there's white under that. I don't know what the heck is going on with this tractor. See, look here, it's yellow. This is my alternate uh, paint removing method, by the way. It works pretty good. Especially if you don't care if you put a scratch in underneath it. Alright, you guys get the picture, I will continue chipping away at this, off camera. Alrighty guys, so we got the gas tank in here. And as you can see, I didn't, didn't really prep this too often much. The more and more I think about it, you're never going to see this because the hood's going to be over it. But uh, it might irritate me later, so I may pick at this with a screwdriver method a little bit. I got the headlight lens cleaned up pretty good. Probably about as much uh, cleaned up as the last time I showed you guys, but getting it all put together. I have to tie the uh, fuel tank down here. I don't think, yeah, no, there's two bolt holes in the front. Cause I'm, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I still haven't done the research on the 400 frames like I wanted to, but normally if they had this plate back here. It should have had an oval gas tank in it, but I don't know. I'll just put it back to the way it was when I got it, and that'll be good enough for right now. Like I said, right now I'm just trying to put it back together so I can use it and see what kind of oil leaks and problems develop over the course of a year, and then maybe I'll paint it. Maybe next winter, next summer, you know, something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that all put together. Uh, from changing the dash over, I still need to hook up the throttle cable, but you guys have seen the, I made the Z-bend in the cable, uh, portion of the video by now, I, I hope, unless I lost it somewhere, but, um, so the only thing I really got to deal with to get it back to where I was before I switched the dash is choke cable. I have not conjured up another choke cable yet. That will work with this style. This style that goes in here and then you clamp it around it scenario. Um, do I have anything like that? There's one. There's one right here. I see the ends all bent up on it and it's pretty rusty looking. Uh, which cable is it? It is this long cable. I bet you that is one out of a... Uh, you know what I bet that is? 
I bet you that's the cable off the 80, 82, 8163B. I don't know if you guys were looking at anything there, but uh, it's that long cable sticking out over there. So it probably is a uh, 800 or 8,000 cable. And maybe I'll pilfer that out of there and, and see if I can get it working. I still have the uh, the vice grips are in the truck to make the Z bends, so maybe I'll go. I'll see what I can do with that, and then we'll go from there. Cause it is just a cable, which that's all I need is the cable. Uh, while the cable and the uh, or the, uh, the, uh, the like the liner. So all right, let me dig it out of there. See what I can do here, and go from there. Mm -hmm. Use them all there. Mm -hmm. Alrighty guys, so I got a new end bent on that, and I guess I'm going to start feeding it down through the tractor, and then I'll put it in the dash and see how she goes. So, here we go. Beep, beep, boop, blah, blah. Well, I must have left her parked on the bad side of town while I went for lunch, and the girl disappeared. No, actually what I'm up to is I'm going to be switching out uh, the headlight assemblies. Now why is that, Steve? Well, A is, as you guys can realize. There's a bunch of red and yellow all over this, which kind of upsets me. And two is I don't really like the wiring that's on it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see like the bare wire there and stuff. So I'm going to switch it out just purely because I had another one that uh, all the headlights work on, or work in, work on. You guys know what I mean, they all work. And I'm going to just swap it in here, and I decided to take the grill off and clean it up a little bit more. Um, thought I might be able to get a little bit more done on the bench, which I got some done, but maybe not as good as I would like. Oh well. So, yeah, I'm going to clean up these couple little spots, uh, like I couldn't get up in the top corner here with the uh, grill on. And then I'm going to... I'm going to throw, the reason I took the grill off was I already had the gas tank in, so I figured it'd just be easier to take it off and do this. And put the screws in it on the bench, because you can't do the lower screws with the gas tank in, and I already did that, so. Alrighty guys, let me get this done and I'll get back at you. Hopefully I didn't forget what I did last time. Mm -hmm. So I got the grill and the headlight assembly all put back in. You can see all three lit up. I'm just running off the jump box here. That everything is working. I don't think it'll turn over with this. Yeah, I figured that. This jump box is pretty dead. Nice thing is with this tractor, once you get it started, it will run without a battery in it. Now it won't work as perfectly, and probably as soon as you turn the headlights on, it'll die. But I did find out it will run without the battery. Uh, I just won't run right. So, got that tackled, so, pretty much I think, I think from the dash forward, other than a battery, I think we are, we're good to go here, I think. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. No, I think I'm good. So in reality, if I had a battery, I could uh, stick the dash back in here. So, here we go, see where we go next. So, uh, that feeling of the guy that had this tractor before really loved red. This is the grip that was on it. I have no idea why. But he has a bright, sparkling red one. And we're going to put the black grip on here. As long as I can get the start back on without splitting. Well, I think I'm going to need both hands to get this on here. Maybe I'll put a little bit of... Oh, hey, that would probably be why it won't go down in there, huh? Mm-hmm. Messing with me, are you? Okay, give me a second. Get that out of there, and then I'll try it again. Ah, that was an old spark plug boot down in there. Okay. So now... Still gonna uh, come on, come on. Uh. Yep. All right, I need the second hand. Here. Hold on. You guys see good enough? Oh, 
You guys might have a hair in your eye. That's terrible. Yeah. Alright. So is this a sparkling one? I hope not. At least less sparkling than the one that's on it. Really not gonna go down on it. There we go. Alright. Now we got it. Yes, thing. Like that's looking a lot better, a lot better. Even put the uh, yellow toolbox in there so uh, you don't see the red transmission. Nice. So I'm actually cleaning off the bench because I got a project for mom to work on. So or a project for mom I need to work on before the grass starts growing. And I'm picking through my pile of bolts here trying to remember what the heck is important and what isn't. I can't remember what it is. I'm sticking it to the side right now, but that's what I'm up to.